Hello, I'm Dr. Matt DeDuro, and I've been in healthcare for over 28 years and helped develop a protocol that is revolutionizing the way doctors treat chronic pain. Our topic today is how long can you live without food, water, or oxygen? Now food, it's estimated that the human body can survive 30 to 40 days without food. Water, it's established that a person can survive three to four days without water. Oxygen, it's estimated we can last three to four minutes without oxygen, but you can't live a second without energy. So when are you truly dead? When the electrocardiogram can no longer measure energy in your heart or body. So every person and situation is different. We're following the rule of threes, right? That gets at the desperate nature of what our body needs to survive. Three minutes without oxygen, three days without water, and about three weeks without food. But again, not a second without electrical activity running through our bodies. I believe the future of medicine will focus on using intelligent energy and sound to stimulate the body's natural ability to heal. Now stay with me, uh, because that statement seems a bit esoteric, but here's one therapy that's making a serious impact on how doctors are treating pain. It's a little company outside of Woodstock, Georgia, that's not on the radar for most people. The most interesting part of soft wave tissue regeneration technologies is that it takes two forces of nature, basically a lightning bolt and the supernatural force of a clasp of thunder, and places it into this handheld probe where the intensity can be adjusted depending on which part of the body we're working on. By capturing these two natural occurring phenomenons, you're able to direct this electrohydraulically produced supersonic sound waves traveling at 3,355 miles an hour. These waves are able to penetrate the depth of a soup can into the human body, and they deliver a shearing force on the cell membranes, which first compresses the cell by 2% and then expands it by 10%. This process is called mechanotransduction, and it literally knocks oxidative stressors off the wall. This in turn helps improve cell membrane permeability by al allowing nutrients in and waste products out. Mechanotransduction triggers a cascade of regenerative healing steps that follow. First, shedding of microvesicles that turn on a network of cellular communication. You see, these cells in our innate immune system don't really know what just hit them. They're, uh, they've just been hit by this supersonic boom and still trying to assess the damage. They've triggered the fire alarm for these first responders of our innate immune system that must deal with uh, foreign intruders, viruses, or antigens that may have penetrated our body's natural defense system. This process actually tricks the body into thinking that there's a new injury when in fact there's no damage to the tissue at all. One immune receptor that's called into action is called toll-like receptor 3, TLR3. This is considered a superhero gene and now helps activate four key components to regenerative cellular healing. It decreases inflammation, which is really the silent culprit and I believe the true source of pain, improves circulation and angiogenesis by causing vasodilation of the arteries and helps increase blood flow and flush out toxins. It responds to activating the stem cells, which are the repairment of the body within 45 minutes of treatment. And finally, activate connective tissue regeneration that helps speed healing of bone and wounds. The wild thing is, when genetic engineers use an antagonist to block the production of toll-like receptor 3, none of those four aspects of healing occurred. The engineers went one step further by taking a CRISPR scissor to actually cut that specific toll-like receptor 3 gene out of the double helix strand. The results solidified their hypothesis. Once again, the animals lost the ability to heal normally. None of those four components were able to occur. There was no modulation of inflammation or pain. There was no improvement in circulation. There was no activation of stem cells. The subjects in the study lost the ability to regenerate tissue and heal properly. So if you're interested in improving your body's own natural healing ability, or you're interested in bringing this world-class medical device technology to your community, then you can leave me a message here or feel free to private message me. 
I'll be happy to show how we've successfully placed this in over 470 de devices across North America.